But I think John's quite correct, and that's not just a problem the Ireland has. If you look at Jersey, where there's currently a big debate around the changes in medicinal cannabis, and also in the UK, it's exactly the same situation. In fact, uh, the Westminster Select Committee for the Department of Health and Social Care in Westminster um, heard evidence very recently in relation to medicinal cannabis, and one of the things that was flagged up was the fact that it's been so tightly controlled, there's very few doctors with hands-on experience and so a lot of doctors would not feel comfortable in relation to the wider prescribing. So what's being done to prepare? Is is that something that's on the agenda, as it were, as you're looking to potentially bring this legislation through? Well, the first thing is we mustn't jump ahead. We've only just had the public consultation, so there's no defined uh, response at the moment. I have my personal views, and I've expressed them many times that I believe it should be prescribed at GP level, but let's not prejudge what will come out of the public consultation that's now closed. But in relation to that, it's very important that GPs do have appropriate um, appropriate training. Down in Jersey, um, that's a case in point where they've got the medicinal cannabis that can now be prescribed and there is a clear reluctance by GPs in Jersey, the evidence base is showing, to prescribe it. And I think what we need to do is we need to ensure that people do have appropriate training because as John mentioned there in his words, at the moment it's only doctors on the specialist register that can actually prescribe. So it's really, really limited. So it's important that we, as we do with any drug that comes onto the market, that GPs are comfortable in relation to prescribing it. Well, looking and sort of learning then from that Jersey situation where, fine, you can do it, but no one's actually willing to, is that something at this very early stage that you can rectify? Well, I I don't think it is. I think it takes time. I don't, you know, again, it's one of those things where I'd love to be able to say, we're going to make the change on the Monday and on the Tuesday, everyone's really confident they're going to move forward and they're going to do it. The world doesn't work like that, unfortunately, particularly in the world of medicine. It is going to take time. I think what you will probably find is you will find some GPs more confident than others in doing it. Um, And the important thing is, as with any drug, it will need to be based on clinical um, on clinical recommendations on what people believe is clinically best for their patient. Um, Some very interesting words that were mentioned down in Westminster actually at the hearing um, there where it was pointed out the role of politicians isn't to interfere and quite rightly so in what clinicians believe are best for their patients. So any prescribing of medicinal cannabis must be done with the clinician themselves comfortable that it's going to help that patient. Well, you said you'd want to make sure that GPs here are as prepared and comfortable as possible. Would that be training the the workforce we already have on the island would it be bringing people over or indeed sending them away to be trained well i think it's, it's a mixture of the it's a mixture of all of those to be perfectly honest um we had professor bonds over to speak to timbald members um, very recently one of the things he identified in his presentation um was the fact that gps do feel uncomfortable at the moment it's something new coming in and like I say, it will take time to get that comfort. But it's the same with other drugs as well. When new drugs come onto the market, GPs, you know, are very adaptable. In fact, as general practitioners, you know, I think they do an absolutely excellent job because they're dealing with a multitude of people with multitudes of illnesses and they've got to decide what's best for that patient. So, you know, I think what's important is we give them that level of training and that level of comfort that they feel confident that if they believe it is the right route to go down, it's something they will be willing to prescribe.